With a few tips, making creamy, dreamy mashed potatoes in the Instant Pot is not only possible, but incredibly easy. Hi everyone, Kristen here. As someone who suffers from a chronic disease, I believe homemade is best, but it doesn't need to be complicated. When it comes to mashed potatoes, I'm a bit of a snob. I like them buttery and creamy and fluffy, and they better not be gummy or starchy. So I was a bit hesitant to try out making creamy mashed potatoes in my Instant Pot. Now red smashed potatoes, I could totally get behind, but classic buttery mashed potatoes, are they really possible in the Instant Pot? Yes, they are. And this recipe is incredibly easy, gives you the same delicious results you would get on the stove, and you don't have to worry about starchy liquid boiling up over the stove and making a mess. So let's get cooking. When it comes to making mashed potatoes, selecting the best potato to use is key. Now you can use either Yukon Gold potatoes, which are gonna give your mashed potatoes a really rich, buttery, velvety finish, or you can use russet potatoes for this recipe. Russet potatoes are gonna give you a more classic consistency and just plain old good mashed potatoes. I love using Yukon Gold potatoes, but my grocery store was all out, so today I have russet potatoes. I have about three pounds of russet potatoes, which is about four large potatoes. And you wanna peel your potatoes well. You really do wanna peel your potatoes to get the creamiest mashed potato. And then you wanna cube your potatoes into one inch chunks. Now this is really, really important that you make sure your potatoes are all cubed in even size. That way they cook up evenly in the Instant Pot. I'm gonna add those cubed potatoes right to my Instant Pot. And then I'm also going to add in one cup of cold water for a three or six quart Instant Pot and one and a half cups of cold water for an eight quart Instant Pot. Don't be tempted to use warm water to speed up the time that it takes to come to pressure. Using warm water will change the cooking time for the mashed potatoes, and this recipe will not yield perfect results. So be sure to use cold tap water. Now you may be asking yourself, why don't we use vegetable broth or chicken stock to flavor up our potatoes while they cook? This is one recipe I don't recommend it. While you certainly can use broth to cook your potatoes, it's crucial to drain off your cooking liquid after pressure cooking your potatoes because we're using russet potatoes and they give off a lot of starch. Even Yukon Gold potatoes that have less starch than russet potatoes give off quite a bit of starch when they're pressure cooked. And that starchy liquid, well, it can make your potatoes taste gummy and thick and just not very good. So we just wanna cook our potatoes in water with one teaspoon of kosher salt, which I'm gonna add right now. And that's it. We're gonna pop our lid on our Instant Pot. You wanna make sure your vent knob is pointed towards sealed, not venting. And then to set the cooking time for your potatoes, you wanna hit manual or pressure cook and use the plus or minus buttons and adjust until it reads 10. 10 minutes may seem like a bit long, but that's really gonna give our potatoes enough time to break down so that they turn into the most luscious, creamy mashed potatoes ever. Once the cooking time has elapsed, you wanna let pressure release for at least five minutes or 10 minutes, just so that you don't try to do a quick release of pressure and have starchy liquid spewing all over your kitchen. What a mess. After pressure has been released, you can open up your Instant Pot you wanna use some pot holders to drain off the cooking liquid, and then return your inner pot with the potatoes back to the Instant Pot. Now here's a key tip for making the best mashed potatoes. Hit saute on your Instant Pot after you return your inner pot to the Instant Pot. We're gonna let our potatoes saute here for just a minute or two, and this extra step is gonna help any extra moisture evaporate, leaving behind potatoes that are going to be incredibly flavored and resulting in mashed potatoes that don't taste watered down. Our potatoes look good here, so I'm gonna hit cancel, and then we wanna mash our potatoes. Don't be tempted to use a handheld mixer. That's another way you can end up with gummy or starchy mashed potatoes. Instead, you wanna use a handheld potato masher and just give the potatoes a good mash. They are 
falling apart and should be incredibly smooth and creamy and really, really easy to mash here. That looks good. And now to add some flavor to our mashed potatoes. What's good mashed potatoes without butter and cream, am I right? Well, another tip is you want to add melted butter and slightly warm cream or milk. That will help your potatoes not to seize up from the cold liquid. I'm adding in a half a cup of cream. You could use whole milk or skim milk, whatever you have on hand. Just keep in mind that the higher the fat content is of your milk or cream, the richer your potatoes are going to taste. And I also have three tablespoons of unsalted melted butter here. Mix that into the potatoes. That looks good here, but I'm not done yet. I want to add in sour cream. That may sound crazy, but the sour cream is going to add a nice tang and really give your potatoes a nice creamy finish. I have about a half a cup here. You just want to Add right to your mashed potatoes. Make sure you use full fat or reduced fat sour cream, not fat free. Does not taste the same. Then you just want to stir that into your mashed potatoes. Looking good. And you want to go in for a taste at this point. At this point, you just want to see if there's any additional salt needed or if you need to add in some more cream to loosen them up. If you remember, we only cooked our potatoes in salt. We haven't added any salt. And depending on how much salt your potatoes absorbed, you may or may not need an additional half a teaspoon of kosher salt. So I'm gonna give it a taste here. Mmm. Velvety, creamy, luscious. That's just perfect. I don't need to add any more salt, but again, make sure you give it a taste to adjust according to what works best for you. And you can dish up your potatoes. I love to serve it with additional dollops of butter just for a little bit of extra richness and maybe some fresh chives if I happen to have them on hand. These mashed potatoes are so buttery and so creamy and they're so easy to make. They're perfect for a weeknight dinner or for a holiday meal. They go great with pork chops and gravy, which I'm gonna share with you how to make in your Instant Pot in the next video. Until then, happy cooking.